What's up, everybody? This is Dustin Klein here with the DigiFX Fall Off Lighting tutorial. What we're going to be making today is uh, two logos kind of shot in a corner with a one point light moving across, illuminating both of them. And as we get closer to this logo, the shadows are going to collapse behind it to bring more attention to it. DigiFX, your talent, our tools. I noticed these nice lighting fall off that's happening in the corners up here. What makes this possible is the addition of the DigiFX plugin fall off lighting. And what fall off lighting does is it creates a relationship between the intensity of a light and the distance that it is from that object. You know this chart right here basically just says that as the distance increases the intensity of a light gets smaller as it decreases the intensity of the light gets brighter. That is because the intensity of light reflecting off the surface of an object is inversely proportional to the distance that that light is away from the object squared. Meaning that as an object gets further away from a light it starts to get darker as it gets closer it starts to get brighter. You may have noticed this on Earth and in the universe where it's real, but if you go into the After Effects world and try this out, you'll notice that no matter how close an object is to a light, it remains the same illumination. So yeah, go uh, download a free trial of Fall Off Lighting and see how it works. So here is how we do that in under five minutes. Here we go. So I'm going to grab this wall, bring it into the composition, and I want to make it 3D and duplicate it. And notice that I'm in two views here, so we have this top view. So when I rotate this wall 90 degrees on its y-axis, we can see it very easily up here. And we can easily drag this over and make our nice corner. There we are. So I'm going to grab our fall-off lighting logo and drag it on top. And also make it 3D. And I want to kind of bring this out about 50 pixels, just so that it's not sitting directly on that wall, so that when we shine a light on it, it's going to create a shadow on that back wall. So that's looking just fine. And I'm going to grab our DigiFX logo, which is much bigger than we really need it to be. So we'll just scale it down to about 35%. And just like we did with that other wall, I want to rotate it 90 degrees on its Y axis and move it so that when we make that turn, it's sitting over there. Cool. Well, all this is looking very good. So what we'll do next is we'll go to New and create a new camera. The default is fine, and then we will create a new point light. And we want to make sure the intensity is 100% and that cast shadows is in fact selected. So there we are. Um, notice that there's still no shadows up here though, and that is because we have not gone onto our logo and made sure that cast shadows is selected. And to bring out that material options, you can just kind of flip it down and flip it back to get it, or you can hit AA and it will bring it up. So cast shadows, there we are. Now we have some nice shadows being casted. And if we want to move that out even more, you know, we'll get bigger shadows. So that's fine right there. And notice that we still don't have that nice lighting fall off that we had before. Well, what we can do is grab fall off lighting and drop it onto our wall. And what that will do is actually make our lights, you know, really look realistic, have the lighting fall off that works in the real world. And we want to make sure we do that to both of our walls, not just one of them. And it's still not quite as bright as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to go hit E for effect on my layer and make sure that the distance scale is a little bit boosted up. So instead of 250, I'm going to say 300. And what that value does is it actually makes it seem like the light is closer, or makes it seem like the object is closer to the light. Either one, but it's going to make it brighter. If I were to lower that value, it would make it darker. So you might want to go through and adjust it in scale to be just how you like it. But if you need your objects to be brighter without moving a light closer to them, this value will do it for you. So I'll go into my other wall and make sure that distance scale is that one. Also set to 300. And I'm going to lock these layers off because I think my walls are set to go. Cool. So next what I'll do is I'm going to start off this light in the, uh, the top corner of my screen. I'm going to zoom out here just so I can grab it on the y-axis. And I'm going to go ahead and set a position keyframe for that light at the very beginning. And over one whole second, I'm going to move it over to the other corner of the screen. And that's going to make my shadow move and my light move because they are linked. And there we are. We have a nice animation of the light moving across. So next what we need to do is set position keyframes for our camera for the point of interest and the position at both this one second and zero seconds. 
and we're going to hit C three times in order to bring up this camera tool and hold down shift and just kind of turn a little bit to the right and then turn a little bit to the left just so we get some good movement in and I'm going to go half a second further and make my full 90 degree turn and hit C two more times to kind of move it over and then we want to zoom in on our logo so we end up right about here and I'm not too happy with where this is I kind of want this to be over more so I'm gonna move my effect over just a little bit and down just a little bit and then I'm gonna grab my light and illuminate it in the right spot and notice too that this still isn't casting any shadows so we need to hit AA and turn on cast shadows and we are almost there from here we want to set a position keyframe on our logo and then move forward to two seconds and we're just gonna move it back so that it's not behind the wall but right in front of it and that's gonna bring our shadows together and then we're gonna zoom in right onto it just so that takes up the whole screen so yeah I have a nice last keyframe for us to end up on and there you have it that's how you make a nice corner with fall off lighting with two logos in it and that's how you get those shadows to disappear as it's moving closer too as you zoom in brings more attention to the logo well I hope this tutorial was useful to you and like I said uh, go download a free trial of fall off lighting at digieffects.com um, it's a great plugin. It'll make your compositions look a lot better, make the lighting look a lot more realistic, and actually, you know, make the distance that those objects are from your lights make a difference in how they're illuminated. Thanks very much for watching. Y'all have a nice day. Bye.